Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to use Visual C++ Redistributable Runtimes AIO Repack. It's a mouthful, but it's a good one. Here's what it does. If you're not familiar with it, you have to have Visual C++ Runtimes for any programs written in Microsoft Visual C++. Back in the day, you used to pick your download. I have it or I don't have it. Well, it's not so easy nowadays. Most of the runtimes from Microsoft contain everything backwards compatible, but a lot of older games aren't supported. So if you're getting errors that say anything related to redistributable runtimes, for example, or Visual C++ errors, this will fix it. And there's a lot of different errors that can show up, but they will have something with you're missing the runtimes. So we're going to download this. If you're not familiar with Major Geeks, at Major Geeks means our mirrors. In this case, it's pretty simple. Zip means it's going to download from the author. And download now just means it's going to pick randomly from one of our two mirrors or the author. So they're, unless you don't trust us, they're all the same. All right, so let's get this thing. Oh, we got a little error message. You might see that. I'm surprised it's not commonly downloaded. We're not a big site. We're not exactly Google. And this is 334,000 in a couple of years. So it's kind of commonly downloaded. Click that little arrow right there and click on keep. Bear in mind that there's another option that might show up on the newer versions of Google Chrome. It says open now, and it does the exact same thing. You think open now means open it, but it just does that, it saves it. Let's click on it to open it up, and let's extract it. Extract it anywhere you can find it. And wait for that. Really easy to use. Let's go find it. There it is right there. So we're going to run it. I'm dying over here today. Come on. More info. Run anyway if you see that. Okay, I just want to punch myself in the head watching the stupidity of security software nowadays. It's just ridiculous. So once you've um, told it it was safe 8,000 times, we're at the setup. Next. And there's a few programs that do this, but one of the tricks with this stuff is I like to look by date. So if you're looking at a redistributable runtime, you kind of you don't want to download something from five years ago. This was updated, well, today, the day I did the video. So what it's going to do is it's going to look for all your runtimes. It's going to take them out if they shouldn't be there. Look at it go. It's going to put them in there if you need them. It's a bit of overkill because you're going to make sure you got any kind of runtime you possibly need. But it shouldn't affect your computer performance, speed, startup, or anything else. There just sits there in the background, and the files are there when they're called on by a program. So you just sit here and hang out, like now. Chill out. Just watch it. Here we go. You're done. Have a nice day. Simple as that. So take a look. Give me a second here. Let's see here. Apps. Installed apps. That's pretty quick too. There they are. 2005. This is where it gets confusing. There is no, I'd love to see Microsoft wrap this up and call it the Visual C++ runtimes. And do exactly, to be honest with you, what this guy did. Figure it out. So again, as you can see, you can uninstall them. If you don't know which one you need, though, believe me, you got them all. You got 2005, you got 2008, 2010, 12, 13, 22, and even the Visual Studio tools for Office. So here's a neat thing. So you come in here, if you haven't used it, and you know you don't need this. You can clean them out. There's no harm in that. Uninstall. But again, the, the main reason people use this program is an older gamer application won't run. They need a specific runtime, and they can't find the runtime. Or they're frustrated because they don't know what runtime. This has you covered. Whatever runtime you need, Whatever program won't run because it's missing the Visual Basic runtimes, there's a 99% chance this will run it. If you don't believe me, check out the comments. It's really good. So, And if you don't trust it, 
you can find the Visual Basic runtimes from Microsoft on our website as well. As always, no big deal. This video, you can find a link to this page to download, as I mentioned, with the I or in the video description, so you can grab it. And there's some links here, for example, this is probably updated now. Is this the one right here? Take a look real quick. That's the official Microsoft runtime, 2015 to 19. So there you have it. Here's a couple of the other ones, They're also popular. This, again, like I said, the, it probably works for the older stuff, but I'm a little hesitant to download something that is five years old. It's no longer under development, but one point, almost two million downloads later, and I think that takes us right back where we started. And there you have it. That should fix your visual C++ runtime errors, I hope. Let me know how you make out. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.